Hi guys, um, it's my second part to this um, labyrinth board game miniatures paint up. Um, right, so we've basically primed it and we've used good old Citadel Chaos Black. And um, at the moment, we're going from trying to get going from black to flesh color with these three. Um, just, just because it's a good transition to a lighter color, we'll just go from black to brown to pink to flesh. So that's those three. Um, and we've got this little fella. A dog on a dog. So that's. I don't know what it is, don't know if it's a poodle or old English. I think it's an old English sheepdog. But um, the bottom half is done. Well, the old English sheepdog is done. Let me turn this around slowly for you because it, it did come out quite well. Used um, black and then grey. What have we used? We used. So using the game colour, game colour range from Vallejo, and we used sombre grey uh, to bring it up from black, and then we used some ghost grey, and then some white, and then some grey wash on top of that. More white. Blah blah. Okay. Uh, so that's that one. Um, trying to think of the name, Sir Did Didymus. Anyway, so that's um done. Um, first completed piece is this little fella, which is Ludo, and has come out pretty good. Um, Same primer on all of these pieces. Okay. Uh, what do we use? Okay, we used base coat, and then we had this bit of gory red to that, and we got into the the shadow areas. With that, mix the two together, get a darker tone, and then we used some hot orange on top of that to get the lighter tones. Um, and I think I might have used a bit of off white on top of that. Um, the skin tone. Uh, that was a bit tricky. Gave up a bit of the fight, if uh, I'm honest. Uh, but I will go f try and go through the the paints that I used. Okay, so skin tone was chaos fifty, not a fifty. Um, a good mix of chaos black and somber grey. Okay, then. What do we do? We put some a brain wash on it, and it wasn't looking too good. We darkened it with some black wash, and it still wasn't looking good. It still didn't give the the effect that I wanted. What I ended up using was um, these two fellas, pale grey and sepia wash. Probably the most used washes I have apart from black and um, brown the whole face okay that one that one there all over wait till it dries okay black wash get it into the creases leave it and then we're going then it was grey wash wait for it to dry then sepia over the top and if you're still not happy 
more grey wash and then mix the two together 50 50 mix the two together and that is the kind of effect we got now where is he bogus yeah we'll focus there we go that's kind of what we've got now and that's what the the gray and the sepia wash does it's come out really good the ears um or horns was basically the same again the black and the grey the brown wash the sepia uh, the pale grey wash the brown wash over the top just keep going until you're happy with the the effect you got there and that is that and we still got some okay good in um so yeah, that's that, and um, we'll be starting, or oh, rather finishing, dog on a dog next, I think, and see how it goes, um, I think that's all I've got to show you today for this, yep, um, if you like, like, comment, subscribe, um, there's more to come, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye now.